Hi, we're at Garden of the God Park, doing a day hike out here, and want to take a little break and introduce my third um, backpacking video. <laughs> well, okay. Well, so much for that there, but <laughs> we're heading into Lost Creek Wilderness, and we're going to do some, uh, weird, these dogs are going crazy. <laughs> I'm trying to introduce my, my, my video. Bella's just going crazy on Taylor. Beautiful dogs. <laughs> All right, well, yeah, okay, we're going to head into Lost Creek Wilderness and do some ultralight fishing for little brook trout that live in uh, Lost Creek. So, enjoy the video. <laughs> Cozy in back. Well, Teller's there. Bella is hiding behind the backpack because she can't stand the dirt road. The noisy dirt road makes her nervous. We're hitting the trail for Lost Park Wilderness. Yeah. Teddy, come on. Yeah, we get a late start today. I woke up late. Took my merry time about getting out of the house, Teddy. Then I had to talk to Bob, my neighbor, and give him instructions how to water my garden. So, I didn't get out of the house until 7.30. Late, late start. And here we come up to the uh, to the wilderness registry. Bella, Bella, we got to sign in, girl. All right, we'll sign in. Bella, stay and keep going. There's our official proof that we're here 
Lost Creek Wilderness in the Pike National Forest. Bella, come. 11 o'clock. <laughs> God, what a late start on the trail. It's a good thing. This is just an overnighter. This was a two-dayer, three-dayer. I'd have been on the trail early. No, Bella, sorry, you're not going in the stream. There's Lost Creek. And it's low, man. Allergies. Ah. Ah. <laughs> Hope I have my allergy met pills with me. Well, we got to cross the stream. Ain't much of a stream crossing, but I'm not going to get my feet wet. So, I'm going to put my water shoes on. Why the dogs are enjoying the water. Bella, there's fish. Look for fish. Find the fish. All right, come on. Hey, hey. You too, Teller. I'm trying to undo my boot laces. Oh boy. Yeah, we made the stream crossing. And I want to find a camp spot somewhere soon, right within the next five minutes. Because this whole area out here alongside me to the right can't see the stream but it's nice tell her get up here now yeah, we've hiked down this whole valley down here man we've been down here toward the wet the valley splits goes left and right we went up to oh, what is it that trail that takes you the Wiggum trail So we're actually doing a really, really short hike in. Even though we've been on the trail for an hour and five minutes, most of that's been stopping. 
doing this, doing that. Yeah, see, we've been way the heck out there. Where were that? Towards the end of the mountains, right there. And you can go either left or you can go right. And if we were heading up there, shoot. I wouldn't be talking right now. I'd be had the video off and I would be hiking and trying to make some time. But I think this is where we're going to camp because we'll have shade, it's an open spot, no chance of bad trees falling down and killing us in the nighttime. It's a little fire pit, if someone's camped here before, I'll be near the stream. Oh yeah, definitely near the stream. Supposed to camp 300 feet away from the stream, but oh yeah, this is where we're gonna camp. Kick ass. Nice view too. All right, now find me a spot to put my tent. It should probably be right here. Teddy, come on, Bella. All right, got a nice place to uh, kick back out of the sun. Look at this, <laughs> far out. All right. So, this is where we're camping for our Lost Creek Wilderness trip, July 2012. o'clock 3.09 in the afternoon got our camp all totally set up it's got a real kick-ass place oh, bella boo good girl get those flies off you man we got a lot of these damn i call them cattle flies horse flies but anyways yeah that's our, our our camp right here tell her get over here boy come on Tell us right over there, the stream runs right right there. It's not running real full, but there's there's uh, there's some trout in it. We've seen it when I went to go get our water bucket filled up. Have my bear hang. It's right up in that uh, dead pine tree. 
the bag's not hanging on it. The rope's hanging, swing it, it's swaying in the in the wind. Hey, Bella, come here. Come on. Let me show you the stream over here. It's starting to sprinkle a little bit. Tell her, get over here. Come on. Get over here, you bad boy. Here's a stream sprinkling. Come on, Belle. She knows it's raining. Come on. Look, look. Come here, girl. Come. We'll be in that water tomorrow. We were already in it today. Like that guy with across the stream, it was cold water. It's starting to come down. Light sprinkle. Boy, it feels great too. It was hot today. I get exhausted just from the heat. It's like, shoot, I think well, out in the sun, if you stood in it, baking around, it'd be eight. Whoop, let's go back to the tent. Come on. Come on, let's go. Go, go. It's starting to come down. <laughs> go, Bella, go. Go in the tent. Go, 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 go. Come on, Taylor, get inside. Lay down, Tyler. Oh, shit. Damn it. Oh. That was just a quick little downpour. You can hear now. It's not really coming down. Maybe it, it let up. Give me time to get situated. God, that, that rain was cold. I was just talking about how it feels good. And then it started coming down. Man. My back is wet. I'm going to turn this off so I can change shirts. Catch you after this. Sun's starting to poke out again. Check it out. Lots of little brookies in here. <laughs> That's why I brought the ultralight. I think it's a five foot, four and a half or five footer. Super light action two-pound test real tiny little lures S tiny little single hook barbless we're gonna fish this stretch all oh, in just a little while up and down it and tomorrow early morning yep, all this too. right by camp you know just finished raining too for 10 minutes downpoured on me while I was trying to get all the crap in the in the, <laughs> in the what's that Bella look down in there what is it? What is that, Bella? Is that a giant mouse? Big mouse. <laughs> I 
So I guess we've got these ground squirrels all over around here. Keep the dogs in the Man, we got all these bugs flying around. Cool little camp. I have some wood. I, sh I dragged that piece of uh, dry wood from where yonder over there. But uh, it's kind of, fire ring's kind of close to this uh, tree. wind blows up like that and ripples the water they can't see me. Fellow slipped in the water. Just caught a fish in this section here. Try again. There you go. I need little things. Fun to catch. Oh shit, this is a bigger one. I knew there's bigger ones in here. He's fighting to get to the side. Maybe he's just a fighter. Oh, he's just a fighter. Stop fish. It's raining. We're out there fishing. And then it uh, started sprinkling a little bit and then it started getting heavy drops. So we had to haul butt back here to the tent. We've been in here for about, uh, oh, about just under 10 minutes. And uh, I'm waiting for it to let up. So I got to go out there and use the bathroom. <laughs> so I ain't going out there when it's wet. So we're going to have to wait a little while until this is all cleared up. But it's 5.31 right now, so it's not a good time for it to be raining. Because I want to I want to boil up some water to get some dinner st um, started for me. Heat up my um, freeze-dried, uh, what do I have for dinner? I have spaghetti. Spaghetti and meat sauce with, um, I have some, um, a big roll, garlic, with garlic butter spread up on it. Dogs will have their uh, Yukonuba, and also um, I brought with them. Uh, the heck is it? Prime rib. <laughs> That's what it's called. But it's a uh, little packet of uh, of uh, meat for dogs, and I mixed it in with their food. So, man, this gets uh, sounds of raindrops coming down on the uh, tent. It makes me real sleepy. I'll probably end up falling asleep. Hope not. I hope this lets off by six, because I, like I said, I want to, want to start my dinner up and have it all, have me and the dogs fed before seven for sure, because I want to have that bear bag hung up. We'll just see how it goes. Catch up next. Week. Eight twenty in the evening, we finished dinner. Me and the dogs, we scrumped up, man. We were hungry, and let's see, it rained. It rained this afternoon, twice on us. Both times lasted only 20 minutes to the most. So it all cleared up, cool. It's out here just walking around, giving the dogs a chance to uh, stretch their legs and go pee pee time. Time for us to go kick back. And I guess I'll pull the journal out and. Uh, right down in the in today's journal of the events that happened and uh let's see we caught and released 14 fish man they're pretty cool 
stream's running low, but it's all right. Fishing's a fish, fishing's decent, so and we did all upstream this late afternoon, just all from from here on up, out. You know, just probably about uh, oh 20 minutes, 30 minutes out. No big deal. We stay close to the camp. Tomorrow we'll hit down and fish uh, this direction out here. I don't know. We'll probably fish for about a couple hours, three, four, if it's that fun. Come on back and uh, have late lunch, kick back, and uh, after that, pack it up and hit home. So we'll be out of here tomorrow afternoon, probably about four o'clock, four or five o'clock, maybe even earlier. It all depends. If depends how hot it is or how the weather's uh, how the weather's acting up and stuff like that. Because you know, if it's going to be all rainy in the afternoon, I don't want to be stuck here. Last time Bella had a stare like that, there was a bear that was at Beaver Creek Wilderness. He was about 200 yards away. Ten thirty in the morning, we're getting ready to do some fishing. Most of the camp's already packed up. Just need to put the tent in the pack and a few other items, and uh, <clears throat> we're up and out here. And this is a little spot that uh, it's right next to camp. There's our camp right there. And this is a nice killer seat. Stay, stay there, Bella. It's a nice little seat section right here. I just kick back in. Ugh. And enjoy the cool mountain air. Even though we got a nice big cloud overhead. There's a 20, 30, I think 20% chance of rain this afternoon. We got it yesterday. Twice. Speaking of fun, we're gonna, we're gonna go grab the rod and uh, we're gonna head down. Uh, we're gonna head upstream. <clears throat> now we did upstream yesterday. That's upstream. We're gonna head downstream. 
yesterday I mentioned that upstream was that way, so now it's the other way around. So that's downstream, and that's where we're going to head and spend a few hours down there, come back, have lunch, pack up the rest of the, uh, the camp, and uh, head on out of here. So cool. We had a great trip so far. It's been excellent. Beautiful Balaboo. Most beautiful dog in the world. Good girl. <laughs> what are you doing? You enjoying your trip? You enjoy every trip. Except this one you're not catching a fish. You say you're retired out of it, huh? <laughs> These are my dogs. Okay, Teddy. He's a good boy, too. She's looking for them. She knows that they're in there. <laughs> there she goes off to go hunt fish. I guess I better go grab the fishing reel and rod. Get at it. Get at it. Ah. <sighs> Good girl, Bella. Bella's retired from camp. Gotta watch where you step in this bog. No, Teddy, stay out of the water. Out. No, I said no. Come on, Teddy. I don't know how Bella's going to get across. She can't swim. As soon as the, there we go. Oh God, he spit it out again. Let's see if I can get him to hook it up. As soon as the lure hit the water and dropped in there, fish went after it. Bella. Well, that's seven or eight fish already this morning. Just started, and it's only been, what, <laughs> 10 minutes. We still have all that to fish, but we're worried about that up there. And I'm worried about my Bella Boo because she can't get across. She can't swim. So let me turn this off and go get Bella to go upstream so we can get her to cross.
Stay back, Bella. No, stay back. No, Teddy. We have rain clouds threatening us. 10 till 12. <laughs> We've already caught in 24. This is 25. We've caught in 25 trout. No, Teddy. No, Teddy. Come on, get up out of the water, boy. It's 25 trout right there. And these clouds, man, they don't look good. We could be trapped in the tent for a while and be hiking out of here first chance we get. Well, caught and released 42 fish. And we decided to head back to camp. Camp is over there. We fished out there. No, actually we fished from camp all the way downstream. Started making our way back, but I'm getting hungry. Raindrops are starting to get a little heavier. So go ahead to camp, have lunch, watch the weather and uh Trying to make a decision when to make a break for it. It's been a good trip so far. Oh, well, caught and released about 60 fish so far, total, since we've been here. Well, we're all packed up, ready to go, 3.30. And a little bit of rain lightly coming across that ridge over there. Hopefully we're going to beat it back to the uh, truck. We're all ready to go, so if this was our camp, that's where we laid our bones at night. <laughs> that was uh, supposed to be where we had a fire. Fire pit was already there, but didn't need to have one. Here we are just a few minutes into the uh, trip home. Usually, the, the real trail is on the other side of the valley right there. And it actually follows into that little cul-de-sac over there and loops around, which takes a lot of our time away. I gotta yell at Teller, he's way up there, see? Teddy, get back over here. I hate it when he leads off that far. Get your butt back over here, sailor. But yeah, the trail loops into that cul-de-sac, comes back out over there again. It does that twice. It takes a lot of time off from us. We're just going to follow this trail as far as it goes. Cross the stream and meet up with the main trail. Hopefully we're leaving that light rain shower back there behind. have to deal with it because I hate having to stop when I'm hiking for a rainstorm it sucks it's cold and damp dogs get wet and you got to dry them off for nighttime That's where we crossed before when we came in.